Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. It is almost 50 degrees. It was only supposed to get up to 49 today. It's not even noon yet, so I think it may end up being warmer than they predicted. That'd be cool. Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. This is my second cup, I will confess. <laughs> so, earthquake yesterday. I didn't see any um, news about any injuries or any, you know, a lot of um, damage. Actually, I didn't see any damage, but I didn't go looking, really looking for the news about it. Um, apparently, there were several quite large aftershocks, but we, I didn't feel them here. Dennis didn't either. Our friends who live 10 miles from the epicenter were fine, are fine. <laughs> and I guess uh, it was felt in New York City more than here. We're a little bit further away from the epicenter than New York City. So anyway, Whew. Whew. yeah, interesting. Oh, I forgot. I knew where I worked on my, on my um, poncho and I was going to show you, so. Go get it. So this is what is left of my fifth skein. So I'm more than halfway through it, I think. Um, here is where I was last time I showed you when I tried it on. And this is how much I have knit. This is where the skein, the new skein was added. You can see some little irregularity there. That's where I added my new skein. So, so my plan is to continue knitting on this with the stockinette and then um, for my last skein, I'm going to do the ribbing around the bottom and then I'll be done. I do not think I'm going to get this done in time to get very much use out of it. <laughs> this is the Corian. Um, I never, I don't show the pattern anymore. Um, probably won't wear it very often this spring <laughs> by the time I get it finished. In fact, I, I put this on this morning thinking, oh, probably the last day I'll be wearing my turtleneck. And it's going to be warmer than I expected, but that's all right. It, I'll be cozy. It won't be a problem. Anyway, good morning. So I did do some knitting yesterday. I watched some... I'm not going to say I was catching up on my podcast because I am never going to catch up. I was checking in with my podcast. That's what was, you know, I was checking in with my friends who have podcasts. That's what I was doing. So, you know, I watched Leslie's vlog, Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast and weekly vlog. I watched the Lefty Knitter podcast with Aquila. I watched Visit with Mama and Papa with Jim and Valerie. I watched Soxy Nana Alice's podcast with Alice. And I watched Swatch This Space with Carol. And I have more to watch. <laughs> but I'm not caught up. I just checked in. I'm not, you know... When I lost my knitting mojo, I lost my knitting podcast mojo, which made me really sad because, you know, you're my friends. <laughs> so I'm checking in, see how things are going. And sitting there and knitting, so that worked. I knit a little while while we were watching the uh, first half of the last movie of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The... Uh, Return of the King. And we will finish that tonight. 
I think Aura's done. <laughs> we had a we had to mute the battle scenes. The, the 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 volume goes from quiet to really intense, loud, and battle scene. We're watching the extended version, and for the most part, the extended version is just more battle scenes. <laughs> so we ended up putting them on on uh, mute because they were just too noisy, and we have closed captions showing so if they actually say something we can see what they're saying but that's that'll be it for tonight but anyway so I had lots of things to watch while I was knitting I'm in love with this yarn I'm in love with this poncho it's gonna be luscious and warm it may just sit on the back of my chair next winter that may be it and i have my blanket that i can work on and be warm if my legs get cold i'll be cozy dennis may never have to do put make another fire for us ever again <laughs> of course Laura likes fires too and she won't be wearing my poncho anyway so yeah, yesterday, you know, was a pretty quiet day around here. We watched our eagles. We have, we're watching the Farm Country Eagles. And what's the website? HD? On HD on tap. H-D-O-N-T-A-P dot com. And they have all kinds of animal cameras from all over the place. They have a watering hole in Namibia, Africa. They have um is that one that one yeah. yeah and of course eagles all around peregrine falcons somewhere i'm pretty sure so we're watching the farm country eagles they have three babies we are very worried about one of the babies doesn't seem to be like we're not sure it's getting enough food but <laughs> apparently we're not the only ones worried because they put out an announcement please don't worry these this eagle pair has raised three babies successfully multiple times they know what they're doing <laughs> trust them <laughs> it's hard you know <laughs> backseat drivers backseat parenting but we watch that on our tv so that's fun i'm finding the new tv a little disconcerting i have to say i watched something else last night the miracle trip or something like that it was uh, set in ireland's and lords maggie smith and laura linney and um uh kathy bates and it was a you know tearjerker you know chick flick kind of a thing but mm -hmm. um i caught myself feeling very strange about the picture quality of what I was watching. It seems like when I look at these things now with this new TV and it's high def, super high def. Remember in the olden days, you could tell the difference when you were watching a film, a movie that was on film versus a movie that had been video, been on videotape. I don't know if you ever noticed that back in the day. But, like, when so things were on TV, you could tell whether they were taped or whether they were filmed. Everything looks taped with this high def to me. And I find it a little odd. So, I'm not sure what what's up with that. But, yeah. not. I mean, I can see things very clearly, though. <laughs> but it just has this sort of taped. Which, in my mind, back in the day, was much inferior to film. <laughs> so these all feel inferior even though they're better <laughs> it's very strange i know i'm sorry just random thought so i am noticing the difference in the picture quality that's for sure i'm still getting used to it it'll be fine meanwhile today i don't have any big plans i made fluff the other day for aura so i don't really have any cooking plans although you know I'm, I'm always you know on the verge of making popovers um dennis is gonna make cheddar cheese today he got his milk delivered yesterday 
or the other day and yesterday and he's going to be making cheddar cheese so <laughs> maybe I no. then I would have to edit I was gonna say maybe I'll record his making of ch cheddar cheese I might do it anyway and then um, we'll see what happens but the thing is that we won't taste it for six months or a year because <laughs> it's got to age <laughs> so anyway but he went through the almost the whole process when he made my curds the other day so that was interesting anyway so that's what he's doing today i'm going to be knitting probably watching more podcasts and vlogs and um catching up with other people checking in with other people and uh yeah working on my Corianne, I would like to finish this skein, if I could. That'll put me on the road to close to done. And it's big. Six skeins of DK for this project. So, Of course, I modified it. I should put it in Leslie's modification mail on the Not Quite Enough Yarn podcast because I made it much longer than the pattern. Other than that, I didn't change anything. I don't think I might not have cast on exactly the same number as they said I'm not sure I don't remember that but I did um, definitely modify the length by a lot so anyway Carol's doing a color work um, cow but I'm not going to be in that, I'm afraid. Color work is not <laughs> in my near future. But uh, Alice has a, has a um, cow going on, and it's heads, shoulders, feet, and fingers and toes. Head, shoulders, fingers, and toes, something like that. I'm wondering if this qualifies for shoulders. I mean, it's not a sweater. So I'm not sure what the exact criteria for that would be, but this was definitely shoulders. <laughs> I don't know. I always think, about, oh, I should enter then I never do, so. <laughs> yeah. But I think about it. All right. Anyway, I'm rambling. I don't. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I have books that I want to read. I had haven't listened to the second book. I listened to for three hours the second book of the Anthony Horowitz series, but I haven't. I didn't feel like listening last night. Well, I was done um, knitting. I had worn a patch all day yesterday. Um, by the end of the day, I wasn't even noticing the smell anymore, which I thought was interesting. And I took it off last night when I went to bed. So my arm feels okay. I've been doing knitting. I think it's not so much that the tendonitis is, and uh, it's like the atrophying of my knitting muscles, <laughs> you know, because it's, I was so long not really doing any knitting and you know, you use muscles. Strangely, um, yeah. In fact, that's why I, I've told this story before, so you can, I'll say goodbye to those who don't want to hear it. But when I started knitting, it was when I was doing, I was making beads. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and I have a lovely studio where I could make beads if I ever thought about making beads. But I was making a lot of beads. I was actually selling them. And... Um, <laughs> But when I went to sit in front of the TV at night, you know, I felt like I was wasting my time because I wasn't doing anything. And I wanted to learn to knit, so I taught myself to knit. But in the very beginning, I realized that when I was knitting, and I, I was doing English style, um, I was using exactly the same muscles that I used when I was making my beads. And those muscles were tired. So that's when I switched to continental knitting because continental knitting uses different muscles. I'm right-handed, so continental knitting doesn't use as much right-handed muscle as the way I was learning how to do English, what we call English style. Um, 
And I was probably, my motions were probably too big and using more muscle than I had to. But so my, I knit continental and so my right hand <laughs> doesn't work nearly as much mm. as it would otherwise. But apparently those muscles have, you know, lost their strength, their knitting strength. And I'm slowly regaining that. And, um, so my, arm, I keep doing this, I know, but my arm feels okay today, you know? So I, I feel like whatever's been going on isn't aggravating my tendonitis as much as just re, um, activating my knitting muscles that have been a little bit atrophied. So that's my explanation for what's mm -hmm. been going on with me, but the patches, oh, I'll get the patches. So this is what I've been using. And Carol recommended it, and other people have seconded her recommendation, saying they use them too. And, uh, yeah, they seem to be working. So, anyway, so I, I'm i going to be knitting, and I don't know what else I'm going to be doing today. Oh, real quick. We found a video. I, we do keto in this house, so we don't um, use flour low carb so or potatoes and we found a video from one of our keto guys making fake chips and it was supposed to be just a half a teaspoon of cottage cheese on a parchment paper in the microwave for three ish minutes and he made these great crispy chips and I was so excited I, I was so excited I got up in the middle of my dinner and went out to the <laughs> store and bought cottage cheese they did not work for me us so I'm going to try something else today um <clears throat> a different so then I looked around and found someone else who tried a different method so I'm going to try a different method I'll let you know how it goes but anyway, I was very disappointed. I ran out to the store, so I was going to say I didn't do it. I didn't go to the store yesterday. Yes, I did. I ran out to get cottage cheese. <laughs> didn't work. Maybe it's the wrong kind of cottage cheese. I don't know. But I'm going to try something else today. So I'll be puttering around with that a little bit as long as I don't get in Dennis's way because he's going to be making cheddar cheese. And uh, I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up, though. But luckily, I like cottage cheese. <laughs> anyway. All right, that's it for me. Ramble, ramble. Please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, please stay safe and stay sane.